What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp. Sparky. Back again. This is the Vortex Spitfire Prism Scope. So uh, we're going to be doing a review on it, and you should watch it. But what is the point of watching if you're not subscribed? And only 2% of y'all greasy guys are only subscribed. So hit the like and subscribe button. Shows us a ton of support. We can keep making dumb videos for you guys. And uh, helps us out a lot. So let's dive right into the specs of this thing. Sparky, I know this is your baby, so I'm going to let you drive mostly. But essentially, this is a prison optic. How much did you pay for it? An MSRP is for $349. Uh, it also depends on where you get it from. Mm, okay. So... Probably can find this on a bunch of different places. Palmetto probably sells it. I mean, you picked it up at Royal King, mm -hmm, I know. Sure do. Um, you can find it a bunch of different places, but I mean, MSRP three fifty. So, is that what you paid? Or? I didn't pay that. I got it from Royal King a while back, and I want to say I paid around the two forty nine. All right, there you go. So hitting about that two fifty mark. Uh, this is a prism optic, so it's a little bit different than your traditional red dot. Red dot. So we have a red dot uh, vortex spark right here. The solar. Um, yeah. The solar version. And some of the differences in these are this is, has an etched reticle, whereas a red dot doesn't. It has just a dot, which offers, I guess, some versatility. You don't have to keep a battery on it. Exactly. And, and so all it, different stuff. You know, if it was to break or the battery was to go out with having an etched reticle in a prism, you don't have to have a battery because it's always going to be there. Obviously, to, for it to you know, be illuminated, you have to have a battery in it, but you'll always have the etched black. Reticle. So, there. so what battery does this take? Triple A's. Okay. Which well, is nice. That's the cheaper easy. battery. Yeah. So you can pick up triple A's pretty easy. I like, I'd rather have a triple A than like a traditional red dot battery mm -hmm. where it's like the CR2032 or, exactly. or whatever it is. CR123s, whatever they are. Odd I know battery. I used to have a Vortex Spark, not the solar, just regular Spark, knit round. It just really depends on which you're going for. But that's one thing I like about Vortex is a lot of them do run off triple A's. Right. Which is something you can easily carry a lot of because I know for us, I carry a lot of AAAs in my range bag because my walkers run off of them and mm -hmm. they're just easy to find. Yeah, I got but AAAs. Speaking of the well. reticle, it's a DRT reticle, full we'll, ring. We'll pop it up somewhere. Which I like. You had the little center small one, uh, small dot, and you had the two outer rings on it. I liked it. made acquiring a target easy for me. If you're shooting with one eye, with both eyes open, it was you know easy to acquire the target in. Right. And if you did want to stretch it out and use the rings for any sort of holdover, it, I, I enjoyed it. What, um, what's the holdovers between the, the circles, do you know? or is our, uh, the MOA, I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh. Well, I know like like an EOTech has like a, you do a 50 yard zero and the drop down on mm -hmm. the circle is like a seven yard. So I'm, I'm sure it's pretty, pretty similar to that. Let's talk about weight. So this thing weighs about 11 ounces. 11 ounces, which, which is a lot heavier. Than like a traditional a traditional red, red dot, right? Which I know on this setup I'm running on Pro 2A 10 half inch pistol, which I mean you you notice it you're swinging it around you notice the prism, it's, but it's not that big. But a it's deal. Not, not that big a deal. Right. Uh, but when you're used to run just a smaller red dot, you do notice the weight. But it's just part of it. So does it comes with the flip caps? Comes with the little flip uh, caps, you, can, you know, pop off and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You got your hourly adjustment in the back. Uh, the turret just screw on turrets. Uh, it comes with well, those look some them. tactical turrets. They they got a real nice positive click to them, which I like. Uh, they have an MOA adjustment. It did come with a 5.56 turret to where you can swap it out. Where once you have it zeroed in, it'll have the adjustments already made from one to 700 yards. So okay. that was nice. So if you were one to stretch it out, you had the adjustment right there. You just click it. No to mag for 700 yards. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. It, what's okay. It's, it's a one magnification. It is a one magnification. Mm. on the spec sheet it looks a little funky but it's one magnification but. nice so uh let, let's talk about how it performed if it, i think that's pretty much all the spec list on it it's it's a pretty you know it's their entry level prism. yeah and it's it's pretty much a red dot but not a red dot with a rich etched reticle i mean a it, prism there's there's not a ton to it no it's, it's 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 what you expect it to be <laughs> All right, LARPing Lords, I want to take a second to interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast and tell you about today's sponsor. So LA Police Gear decided to sponsor this video. Big thank you to them. If you don't know about LA Police Gear, they've been a big supporter of the channel. They sell tactical gear. They sell optics, lights, pants, boots, literally everything under the sun you can be picked up at LA Police Gear except for ammunition and firearms. So uh, if you want to check out LA Police Gear, link is in my description. Code DELP10 will save you some money. Now back to your regularly scheduled broadcast. Yeah, so how it performed. I had it on the range. Sparky shot it a lot. It did good. It zeroed, held zero fine. I was able to shoot 200 yards with it and on the steel, really easy. 
One of the things that I did notice about it when shooting one eye, like with I I I close one eye when I shoot, it kind of like unmagnifies. It's like it pushed your target farther away. It, it pushed my target farther away, and that's one of the things I don't I don't know if I like I don't know if I liked it. Of course, this is my first real experience with the prism. Uh, I'm red dot LPVO all day sure. all day long, um, so. <sighs> I mean, it, it worked. It worked well, but I did notice it did push the uh, the target yeah. out. I didn't notice it as bad with until I said eyes. something. Well, once once he mentioned it to me, and I started looking at it with one eye closed, because typically, you know, on a shorter gun like this, shooting both eyes open, CQB, better way to acquire your target so you can mm -hmm. actually see uh, what's around you. So I didn't notice it near as much, um, but I liked it. Or it might just be a better shot than me. Uh, Whatever. Who knows? But, yep. But uh, one thing we failed to mention. Uh, it's red and green. Oh, I did forget it's, that. You can swap it either way. Uh, mm -hmm. I personally run it on green just because I see that a little easier than red. Uh, it tends to stand out a little bit more to me. Uh, what? It's weird. I don't, it's preference. That's what I like. Okay. I ran it Whatever. on green. Yeah. But. And we, we ran it, as previously mentioned, on 10 and a half inch Pro 2A Tactical. Really nice little shooting mm -hmm. pistol. So that I uh, just wanted to disclose that. And if you're looking for a deal on a pistol kind of like this one, you should head on over to my Instagram. Link's in the description. Uh, I post deals on it all the time, whether they be like Diamondback, Stag, you name it, Radical. If I find it on sale, if it gets sent to me on sale, uh, I'll post it up there and leave a link to my website, takesomeoutdoors.com forward slash links, and there you can check out all the stuff I swipe up on my Instagram. It uh, allows you to get some good stuff for a good price. And uh, that's what I really pride myself on on the gram, you know. I, I, I post deals all the time. There's it's a, few a daily basis. Yeah, it's, I do see quite a few. I do see quite so a few. Uh, go check me out there. So let, let's dive right into like where this really fits for somebody, Sparky. So why don't you tell us why you picked this, and we'll kind of base off that. So like previously mentioned, I used to run a Vortex Spark, just standard red dot. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, it's a red dot. But I wanted something, you know, for a pistol such as this. I wanted something that you didn't have to worry about whether or not the battery was in it or if it still worked or whatever. Mm -hmm. That just no matter what, it was it was going to work. Yep. Um, and I, I mean, I've been pleasantly surprised with it, which, like I said, this is one of Vortex's uh, cheaper, more mm -hmm. budget-friendly prisms. They de they definitely make a lot more expensive ones than this. Um, but I've been thoroughly impressed. If you're wanting to get into a budget prism, that's good quality, and you're not going to have any issues with it. This is a good one to start with. Yeah, and I mean, you could do a lot with this thing. Like I said, we were I, well. I've shot. I don't know mm -hmm. how far you've shot it. Uh, when we, we were out on the range, 200 yards, easy. Uh, it's really that CQB to like Definitely. close to mid range ish. I don't know what you call that. Nice. I wouldn't stretch it too far. I mean, no. you said 700 yards. You could, no. but if you're godly yeah like it it's it has the capability to do it whether or not you can do it's other question yeah that's really where where this thing lies i mean the what? reticle's clear in it it's, exactly it, it's a good entry level prism if you didn't want to go red dot or an lpvo or something. i really enjoyed the the rings of the reticle mm -hmm. for cqb like you don't have to really focus on that center dot you can use the the inner ring and just yeah, put, put if, center if, mass. if it's on it, if it's, it's on. If, if your target's, you know, in that circle, not the dot, but the circle, you're going to hit it. You're, right. hit, you're hitting center mass, which, if you're, you know, CQB situation, quickly acquiring targets and taking them on, you're not worrying about stacking rounds. You're just yeah. wanting center mass. You're wanting to and, put shots on target. Exactly, and this is a good one to do it. And We interrupt this regularly scheduled broadcasting to tell you about somebody is near and dear to our hearts. Kerr Ammo. Kerr Ammo is one of the sponsors of the channel and they keep the freedom seats flowing over here. If you're looking for 5.56 plinking ammo, the 6.5 Creed and more, Nosler trophy grade ammo, Kerr has you covered from high quality hunting ammo to plinking ammo, anything you can think of. If you want to check out Kerr Ammo, head on over to the link in my description, takesomeoutdoors.com forward slash links, and then click Kerr's button, find something you like, like some PPU. And then uh, check out, use code DELP10 to save you $10 off on your first order, no minimum purchase. And remember, it's not about how good you shoot, it's about how many times you can shoot, so go buy a lot of ammo. Now back to our regularly scheduled broadcasting. Me personally, Vortex person, that great lifetime warranty. If you, yeah, Vortex warranty. 
Yeah, if, if you can identify it's vortex, or if they can identify that they made it, they'll replace it. Yeah, no vortex does a good job about that. So that's why I'm, that's why I've always been attracted to vortex because you when you're getting a quality product, and if it was to break, even if I took this right now and busted over this table, I'll send it back and I'll get a new one. Yeah, not that I'm going to do that. But, no, but they'll do it. Yeah, but they'll so replace that's, it. That's 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 a great thing, and um, and just overall, quality. decent optic for CQB medium range, you can't really go wrong. So I think we're going to wrap it there on this Spitfire. I mean, it was a great little optic, and I I enjoyed shooting it. Thoroughly um, impressed for the money. I don't think I'd go. I, I don't think I'd go over a red dot, but that's just me. Um, personal preference. Sparky likes it. He bought it. If Sparky bought Better it. Like then it. you know, might be worth something if Sparky bought it. That's so right. we really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram to get those deals. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. As always, take someone outdoors. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.